In this uh, video, we will talk about the third category of hormones which are secreted by adrenal cortex. And this category of hormones, they are called sex corticoids or sometimes they are also known as gonadocorticoids. In this, the hormones which are secreted, they are secreted by the third and the innermost zone of the adrenal cortex that is zona reticularis. So this is the zone which is secreting these hormones and the hormones which are included in this category are androsterone, dehydro, epi, androsterone and female sex hormones also but they are in small quantity. So small concentration or amount of small amount of female sex hormones like estrogen and progesterone. So these are all collectively termed as sex corticoids. The functions of these sex corticoids, we'll have to separate or categorize those functions in males and females separately. So in case of males, these androsterones, they are responsible for appearance of secondary sex characters like the hair pattern which is known as male like distribution of hair pattern distribution of hair on body male like voice the voice gets deepened so deepening of voice which is also known as the male like voice so these are the characters, secondary sex characters, which would appear in case of males due to these sex corticoids. Now in females, the sex corticoids are responsible for, again, appearance of secondary sex characters. Appearance of secondary sex characters. And in case of females, these characters are enlargement of breasts starting off menstrual cycle and the hair pattern female like hair pattern so here we write female like hair distribution so in case of males these sex corticoids would stimulate secondary characters like deepening of voice, hair pattern, male like. That means facial hair would appear, uh, hair would appear on the chest, groin, armpits. And in case of females, there are no hair on the face and chest. So there is a dis difference in the distribution of hair pattern in case of males and females. In case of females, menstrual cycle starts because of these hormones. So these are the normal functions which the sex corticoids perform in males and females. Now the condition, if these hormones are secreted in more concentration, that means we are talking about over secretion or hyper secretion of sex corticoids in that case what uh, problems or what diseases or conditions would be caused they are also different in case of males and females now in case of females that means in females if sex corticoids are secreted in hyper concentration that means amount is more then there would be male like secondary sex characters that would appear in females. So appearance of secondary sex 
characters of males in females. Males in females. So females would start showing male-like secondary sex characters. What would be the male-like secondary sex characters? Like this, what we have written in the function. What are the normal characters that are seen in case of males? Facial hair, hair on the chest, deep voice. Same kind of characters would appear in females if the secretion of sex corticoids is more in females. This condition is known as adrenal virilism or it is also known as pseudo hermaphroditism. So these are the two terms which are given to the condition when male-like sex characters appear in the females and this is due to over secretion of sex corticoids. Now what would happen in case of over secretion or hyper secretion of sex corticoids in case of males? So in males there would be appearance of female-like characters. So here appearance of female sex characters, secondary sex characters in males. And what would those characters be? One such character which they would show is enlargement of breasts. Enlargement of breasts. So in case of males, there would be enlargement of breasts. And this condition is known as gynecomastia. So these conditions are very important for these two hyper secretions in females and in males. In normal course, the hormones are responsible for appearance of male sex, secondary sex characters in males and female sex characters in females. This is in normal secretion where they are secreted in their normal concentration. But if the same sex corticoids are secreted in more amount in females. The characters which would appear would be of males and in males the characters which would appear would be of females. In females this condition is known as adrenal virilism or pseudo hermaphroditism. In case of males this condition is known as gynecomastia. So this is the third zone of adrenal cortex that is zona reticularis and the hormones which are secreted are known as 